I'm loading up my pickup. I'm heading for the Okay, this is how we uh, go through the steps of putting a bridle on a mule that uh, has ear shy problems and this sort of thing. So again, we go through the same process, tipping the head to the left. Notice how she has her hand on the halter and the mule is kind of on the fight, but she goes to rubbing on him. And we're not interested in putting the bit in right now. We're interested in putting the bridle up over the ears. And all of my mule riders, martingales, and my regular bridles have a lot of ear uh, room, especially my mule riders, martingales, because they are training. Uh, they are for training. As you can see, that mule riders, martingale, is. Uh, uh, made out of beta and there she goes up over the one ear then the other, next ear. Notice we're not putting the bit in right now. She rubbed on him, rubbed on him with the bridle. You can see how big an ear area we've got. We've got a lot of room and that's what you want when you're training these colts. A lot of room so that you don't pester those ears. And notice how she went over the ears. Didn't try to put in one ear at a time right now. And she, notice she's now going back to petting, scratching, rubbing on the mule. That's what we want. We want to be able to pet and scratch on them and get them relaxed. And once they get relaxed and, and this sort of thing, then we go back and now we put the bit on. Now notice what she's going to do. She's going to use her little finger and go over uh, and rub the inside of the mouth on the right hand side. So we'll change the camera settings here and work over there and see what she's going to do. She's going to take her middle finger and she's going to rub on the bar of the mouth. Notice how loose she's loosened up the bit. She's getting the bit set up in her hand so that she can use her middle finger and rub the bar of the mouth. And then of course the mule's a little concerned right now but she's rubbing rubbing. Notice the mouth starting to open and as she starts rubbing on those bars and as the mouth gets open she then feeds the bit right into the mouth. Nice and slow. It's okay to have the mule's head up to start with. There she slid it in. Now the key to this notice we kept the bridle really loose with a bit hung down and we went over the ears and since my my bridle is big enough it doesn't create problems and this is very important you don't want a one-eared bridle and or a small area you want it to be big now a lot of people say well why don't you just unbuckle it and buckle it on the back of it and then not be fooling with this fixing the ear problem well if you've got one problem you're going to have another then you're going to have another and you're going to have another we call them holes in their training we want these mules to be soft and supple when you send them to a trainer they should be complete when you buy them from someone, they should be complete. There shouldn't be no holes in there, no ear shy problems, no feet problems. You know, the downside is a lot of people just let these things go. Don't let it go. Fix this ear shy problem. This meal here really has been a good meal. Uh, we've been able to mess with their ears and this sort of thing in the past, but for something happened when it comes to the bridles. And you can see this is. This is uh, the ears all nice and quiet now and getting nice and quiet and going back to when it was good. What I believe happens when we put these bridles on, we don't uh, loosen up the bridle and let the bit hang down and then slide it up over the ears. We put it pre-adjusted on. Never pre-adjust it. Always loosen it two notches and take the bridle off. Loosen it one more notch and then put the bridle on. So from where the mule is packing that bit, that notch, when you put it on, go down three holes. When you take it off, go down two holes. And it works really well that way. As you saw, it was a bit of a fight for Elana, but she was able to get it. We don't need to get into a fight. The main thing is let's keep the softness, the natural softness in this animal.